Okay. Slight change of plans, Yardies. So today we're gonna be guestless, and it's such a shame because we got a great fucking show. This is one of the best shows I've put together in a while. Super proud of it. Check out the short show. The short show we got for you. I just wanted to let you know that before we start the show today, um, I'm gonna introduce a new in-house band. So, well, a special guest. They're not always gonna be here. We're just trying them out. We're gonna see how it goes. So I'm gonna introduce a new in-house band. And, uh, you know, we're gonna see. Let me know if you like them or not. I don't know. I'll try them out. So, without further ado, let me introduce to you Paul Schaefer. Hey. Paul Schaefer, everybody. And it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Hey, Paul, thanks for being here. Well, I had no else to be. <laughs> so, how, how are things going, Paul? Good, good. It's not good. My pet porcupine died. My family just abandoned me. I need every penny I can get. <laughs> That's great. Paul Schaefer, everybody. Paul Glad Schaefer, tickling the ivories. Let's go, boy. I need you from his studio apartment in Toronto. It's the Backyard Variety Tour. Featuring your host, Ian Pose. Hello, 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 everyone. No, you, you, no, you. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. What's up, Yardies? What's up, Yardies? And welcome back to the Backyard Variety Tour. I'm your host, Ian Paz, and it's great to be here. Got a terrific show for you this evening. Hope you enjoyed last episode as well. Lots more fun coming your way. So, what's going on in the world today? What's going on? Well, there was just the inauguration. There's a new president. Um, you know, which means maybe there's gonna be some change uh, slow change anyways on the horizon. I mean, it's not going to happen like that. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I gotta stop doing that. Oh yeah, so the news, we talked about what's going on in the news because you're a late night talk show, so you have an obligation to do um, political humor. Politica? Politica humor. And... Politica humor. This is episode, what, 6,072. 6,072, actually. And I mean, Joe Rogan's only at, what, like 1,500 and something. So, I mean, we're, we're absolutely killing him, slaughtering him. We obviously got way out of the gate before he did. Um, you know, but that's... There's a place for everybody. Uh, today's sponsor is Broken Stick Brew Co. So a special thanks to Broken Stick Brew Co. for sponsoring this episode. Why buy if it ain't broken? Yeah, so this is six, uh, episode 6,172. Is that what I said? That's what it is. Um, so instead of the secret word today, I'm going to be trying out a new tagline. Trying out a new tagline. So uh, make sure you leave a, a like or a comment or subscribe whether you like this tagline. We'll be coming up with different ones all the time to use on the show here. And um, just let me know what you think. So uh, trying out the new tagline. Uh, me no no and as always thanks to Russell you know without Russell we couldn't be doing the things we're doing um, he's a huge help behind the scenes so thanks to Russell and now let's get into the half-ass jokes half-ass jokes let's see what do we got here here's one I like this one I own a pot shop it's a love and hate relationship owning a pot shop. And the reason I love owning a pot shop is the same reason I hate it. And that's because... Ow, 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 that's good. <laughs> that's good. Here's another one. This is one I like here. The pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic. You know, I really wish I could get back to work. Not because I want to work, but just because there's nothing good to steal around my house. What do you think of that, Paul? Scooby they do. When do the animal experts get here? <laughs> Not really that kind of show. Paul Schaefer, everybody. Paul Schaefer, he's going to be Call me Schaefer. Give it up for Paul. Schaefer, coming at ya. Oh. 
I don't know if anybody heard, but there's another Star Wars movie in the mix, new Star Wars movie in the mix, and they're actually gonna be filming it in Toronto. New Star Wars movie, very exciting, very exciting, because those movies are so big, you know, they can employ so many people. Um, you know, they can give a lot of jobs out there for, for actors and stuff, and, and even non-actors, maybe just fans even too, who want to be a stormtrooper or something here and there, you never know. So that's going to be a huge opportunity coming up in Toronto, very exciting. I have a special announcement to make, and that is that um, they have reached out to yours truly about playing a character. Uh, I feel honored, you know, I feel honored that they asked me. It's a huge, huge honor. I just can't believe they picked me out of everyone, you know. I don't know if maybe they've been seeing what's going on here, what I've been doing, how hard I've been working, so it's a huge honor, huge honor. I was told that they specifically asked to see me, which is always nice to hear, so um, it's not um, like part of the original franchise of Star Wars, you know how they have like the Luke Skywalker, it was like kind of, it's one of these offshoots that are still very good and huge budget and, and a lot of fun, so um, I'm very excited, it's just not one of the, it's a non-traditional Star Wars um, version, but it's still within the whole realm. Um, yeah, so, and I think we have a clip, so we'll cut to a clip. So yeah, so super excited about that. And um, it's a huge opportunity. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And it'll be great to be part of the Star Wars universe. So here we go. So we're moving on with the episode. And, and since the guest is not here, here's what I'm gonna do. It's actually a special treat for you, the loyal audience, my loyal viewers. Yardies, yardies. What do you think, Corky? <laughs> it's the claw. The claw is coming to get you. Look out, it's the claw. Tiny penisitis. Tiny penisitis. Ooh. <laughs> okay. The claw is coming to get you. Quirky, so loyal. What a great sidekick. Certainly better than the Shafe Dog, which he Shafe keeps dog. telling us to call him. Why did I call him Shafe Dog? Shafe Dog. Why did I buy into that? Shape oh, yeah. So that's what I was saying to you, the loyal viewers. Well, you're gonna get some skits ahead of time. It's a lot of work coming up with stuff for this show. Like what? what? Got a couple of friends um, who I like to bounce some ideas off of. Thank you, friends, for helping out. And yeah, so I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna put out some stuff early. So we'll get to that right after these messages. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. Hey, it's Ian Paz here. Uh, if there's one thing that influencers uh, like need to have, if they're gonna be like influencing, it's like skincare products. Okay, like. Skincare products. Today I'm gonna to be showcasing some skincare products for you guys. Cause if you wanna be influencing, you gotta look your best. Nobody likes a wretched looking influencer, alright? So you've gotta keep that skin clean. Um, so first what you wanna do is you wanna open it, you wanna open it, you wanna open it. Okay, so it's open. Rub it around, put it on your face, okay? Okay. Oh boy, poor bastard. You 
So that was a solo round of TNT. I wish my guests could have been here today to take part in that. That would have been a lot of fun. Prairie. The word we were looking for was prairie. And now um, we'll get into the gauntlet. Hey, uh, Ian, could I be a guest on the gauntlet? <laughs> All right. Shave dog. Welcome to the gauntlet. Shave dog. What is your favorite piece of clothing? On my skin. And what's something you were really into as a kid? Uh, fossils. Where does the time go? Chocolate, peanut butter, pancakes. What's your favorite way to waste time? I, I like to dunk my head in a big old pile of spaghetti sauce. Why are we here? Where? What does the world need most? Dunkaroos. Boobity do. Dunkaroos. Okay, that's the gauntlet, everyone. That's the gauntlet. No thanks to my guest for being here, and we'll see you next time. I love you, Yardies. I love you. I think that's it, eh? That's it.